welcome back if you are coming after watching part one of this video welcome if this is your first time here so we're looking at summary writing tips we already looked at the first six we're now at number seven so as much as possible use your own words but don't change the meaning of what the original writer or orator stated so if they said it was a sunny day do not write it was not a rainy day those have two different meanings avoid using quotes so if there's something so important that the writer said and it's in direct quote put it in reported speech or indirect speech do not use first and second person perspectives because it's not about your opinion to be using first person and this is not an instructional manual that you're preparing neither is it an advice column just state the facts and do so in reported speech using third person perspective now do not add information that's not in the text so definitely don't add your opinion so even if you know that the writer could have added more information don't add it do not use brackets parentheses if you have to put something in brackets while summarizing it's highly likely that you still haven't decided if it's important or not and most times it's not so just exclude it. That's all for this week, folks. Join me next week when I will wrap up this series when I will be reviewing some steps on how to summarize extended pieces. Thank you.